Good day. This is uh, the third in the series of a Tooth Bridget temporary tooth replacement system video showing our new and improved kit that contains the following items. The instruction manual that will tell you the proper way to use the materials and uh, give them into, put them into your mouth between the missing teeth into the space. And then we have also the uh, lead light which is used to fuse the material or to harden the composite, the dental paste. We have the files. These are emery boards. They can be used or you could use actually a more traditional a diamond impregnated file. Revlon has these and other beauty aids, but that's good um, for shaping the Pontix. So these are the items so far, and the other items are as follows. This is the plunger for the composite material. Uh, it is actually a screw, but it used, it's used as a plunger to express the composite material. There are three vials of dental composite, very strong biocompatible material. And then in our new kit, we have a male central incisor and a female central incisor that's included. So that will not cause discrepancy in the tooth size for people who buy because you'll get both in the same kit. The process of placing it into your mouth is the following. You would take the wing pontic or the composite pontic, that's what this is called, a tooth replacement or a pontic, and you would uh, file the aspects of the tooth uh, around the edges, smoothing it, shaping it, so it would fit into the space between the two teeth that you want to bond to. So that's basically, and it goes actually quite quickly. Another item can be used as a Dremel or a small uh, grinder wheel on a drill to shape it up a bit. But the safest way to do it is with these devices. Again, you can use the uh, more formidable uh, metal or the emery board. And again, we have the large and the medium, and, or the male and the female. I'll set those over here. And then I'll show you how they're placed in your mouth. This is a fellow that had his missing central incisor. And um, what we can do is you can, you can adhere it into the space in two manners. You can take the pontic or the false tooth and actually have it slip in and out so it does not bind in between the teeth. The material will not adhere to natural tooth structure or crowns, but it will interlock. But if you get some Vaseline or some type of a lubricant and put it around your teeth, you can craft the pontic or the false tooth replacement so it slips in and out. And once you've got it so it's slipping in and out, you can use a dental adhesive. We have polygrip powder or rigidant powder, and you can place that on the bottom side of the composite, a light dusting of that, and it will snug it in against the skin tissue and against the tooth, and it will lodge nicely. It's also very important, as it's pointed out in the instructions, to make sure that when your teeth bite together that you're not hitting the pontic. In other words, there should be clearance, ample clearance, on the tongue side of the pontic, either upper or lower. Lower is not a real problem, but the upper could be. If you were to hit the pontic, it would cause a problem. So you want to have good clearance on the inside. So when you're shaping it, you try in the pontic or the tooth replacement, and then you bite together, 
and see how it comes together. I'm going to show you how to get it so it glues in with an adhesive and the Pontic is wetted, a little bit of adhesive is then placed on the tongue side. This is actually a powder adhesive. It's called Rigident or Polygrip. And then you would wet this surface very lightly. And then you would place it into your mouth so it snugs right down to the gum. And it creates a heat and adhesive interface that helps hold the pontic into place on both sides. We found that uh, the best is the powder and it's actually pretty darn stable. After a little bit of setting it will give a nice adhesive interface so it won't dance around or fall out. So that's the way it's held in. That's one way to do it. That's called the pop-in system in which you would use an adhesive, a dental adhesive used for denture uh, work or partials and that can be caught, uh, gotten at any pharmacy. It's called Rigident Adhesive Powder or Polygrip Powder. And I'm going to show you the second way, the way that will, you can see right now it's really starting to adhere to the model, but in your mouth you have to give it about a couple minutes before it really settles in. But this is a pop-in type system where you just slide the tooth replacement in between the teeth and it will adhere with the powder adhesive on both sides. The other system we're using now, which I suggest uh, can be used, is you would take a Pontic or the false tooth and you would shape it and prepare it and then you would take the composite adhesive paste and take the cap off, the gray cap and use the plunger in this fashion to express the composite. As you'll see, the composite will start to flow out of the tube or the, we call them compules. In this fashion, you set the plunger away and then you would take the composite and place it on the side of the tooth replacement in this fashion and we'll use a little more here so we'll get an ample amount and we'll actually apply it to the other side in this fashion so you take your fingers and you don't have to wet them they, it will smooth in to the pontic or the tooth replacement real nicely so it looks like this. And then you can take and draw the composite so that it comes down nicely to the gum. And then you would take the composite wing pontic or the tooth replacement and you would slip it in in this fashion. And you'll notice that there's an excess now. There's an excess of material and you can take the an instrument like this and flow it into the undercuts on either side of the tooth replacement and that's what would basically hold it into place is what we call the undercuts and you'd have to do this a little bit uh, before the mirror make sure you're doing it over a towel or something and once you've got it into place, you can craft this like you like it. And then you would cure it with the light. Now this light takes about a minute and a half. 
to harden the material. In our previous video, I'm showing a young fellow that we're inserting the tooth replacement into his area, but um, you, you would have to do this obviously yourself. You don't want to get into practicing dentistry. But uh, this is a great temporary system in which you can, for maybe a week or two, some people will use it even longer for months, but you'll be curing this. This is called curing or hardening. And then what it will do is it will cause a lock-in or an undercut. It's in other words, I can't really lift this out. I maybe could, but right now I'm not going to try that. That's what we call the underlocking system. So each of these little wings, so to speak, or excessive amounts of composite that you take from the soft compules, which are these, and place it on the edges of the tooth and you place it into the area and then cure it with the light. And it takes about a minute and a half, minute, minute and a half, so you have to hold it pretty close as much as you can in this fashion. And then you'll have a replacement that will move. It will not be secure like a regular fixed bridge, but it will stick in place and not easily fall out. So those are the two systems. One is the one that I just talked about earlier, where you take the adhesive from the Rigident, place it on the, the tooth replacement, and place it in. Or if you want to underlock it into the, we call them the undercut areas of the support teeth. These are the support teeth. We call this tooth and this tooth the support tooth, and it holds the pontic into place in that fashion. So I can tug on this a bit, but it really will not come out. And you can actually set it in a little bit more. And you can actually add material. If this doesn't work at the first time, you can take it out. And it's up to you. You can either have a fixed undercut system or the pop-in where you would use a denture adhesive. So we trust that this clarifies our new system. The kit has all the instructions, as we said before, that show the proper shaping of the tooth itself or the tooth replacement, the extrusion of the composite paste from the compules, the adherence onto this. So these instructions are very valuable and I would read them again and again, and then step by step we'll tell you what to do. So we advise you to also review our videos, and um, give it a go if you wish to. So a little bit of work involved, like I said before, uh, but it's a temporary replacement, something not for a long term, but some people will use it. Um, as a means to at least fill the gap for a period of time. Okay, thank you very much for joining us this uh, day, and we wish you the very best in your endeavor to uh, do the Tooth Bridget Temporary Tooth Replacement System Insertion. Thank you very much. Have a great day.